Love divine, our love's excelling, joy of heaven toward come down. Fix in us your humble dwelling, all your faithful mercies crown. Jesus, source of all compassion, love unbounded, love all pure. Visit us with your salvation. Let your love in us endure. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good morning, everyone. I apologize for those who are looking for a live stream because uh, the internet is not working well in this, this church, especially after the storm now. This Mass is offered to pray for Bill Carr and family, for Coco Blanco, Dali uh, Freiba, Sandra Seale, Jeremiah, and we also have a, a cute remember to pray for the twin sisters, um, the Burton, Anne, Anne, and Holly. And so let us now, with the church, to celebrate the feast of St. Augustine, Bishop and Lord of the Church. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have to do. Through my fault, through my fault, to my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Renew in your church, we pray, O Lord, the spirit with which you endow your bishop, Saint Augustine, that filled with the same spirit, we may thirst for you, the soul found the font of true wisdom, and seek you, the altar of heavenly love, to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated to listen to the Word of God. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only begotten Son into the world so that we might have life through him. In this is love. Not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son as expiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also must love one another. No one has ever seen God, yet if we love one another, God remains in us, and his love is brought to perfection in us. This is how we know that we remain in him and he in us, 
that he has given us of his spirit. Moreover, we have seen and testified that the Father sent his Son as Savior of the world. Whoever acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in him and he in God. We have come to know and to believe in the love God has for us. God is love, and whoever remains in love remains in God and God in him. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. Lord, teach me your statues. Lord, teach me your statues. How shall a young man be faultless in his way by keeping to your words? Lord, teach me your statutes. With all my heart I seek you. Let me not stray from your commands. Lord, teach me your statutes. Within my heart I treasure your promise that I may not sin against you. Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. With my lips, I declare all the ordinance of your mouth. Lord, teach me your statutes. In the way of your decrees, I rejoice as much as in all riches. Lord, teach me your statutes. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. You have but one Father in heaven. You have but one Master, the Christ. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus spoke to his disciples, Do not be called rabbi. You have but one teacher and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father. You have but one father in heaven. Do not be called master. You have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humble, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord. So today we celebrate St. Augustine. Maybe some of us already know quite a bit about St. Augustine. Uh, today, the first reading, as you could hear, talking about love, 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 and love. It's, it's beautiful a letter from St. John. Beloved, let us love one another because love is of God. God is love and love is God. Now, just imagine if you are so holy already, like you're born as a holy person. You're born as a righteous, beautiful, optimistic. Life is beautiful. Then maybe when you say Love one another, children. Love one another, brothers and sisters. Sounds pretty, sounds pretty good, right? But how about this? Someone that used to be a criminal, a killer, or a street boy, and say that, love one another. God is love. How, how did you feel? Which one did you like to hear more? 
the criminal, the one who used to be called bad person. Why? Because he has more to give us. Saint Augustine was a troublemaker for his mom. To the point, to the point, Saint Monica. Yesterday we celebrated. She day and night prayed for him. He's not a killer like we think, but he's not comply to mommy's wishes, if you will. And so today, my brothers and sisters, what does that mean? Because a lot of times, yes, we're talking about love, and then the the gospel today, the the, the church somehow wanted to reflect on there is only one God. If God is love, maybe there is only one love. Only one love. Now, Saint Augustine said, "Love first and do whatever you want. Love first and do whatever you want." But I'm afraid that sometimes we use that love in a very selfish way. We even manipulate that kind of love to gain a bigger love. We we say we love the person, but we try to do change that person. We try to manipulate that person to gain our own love. If you love that person, you better make that person happy, freer. But sometimes we even force that person into one type of person, one box. This is not an easy one, and so. How do we love other? How do we love God? Because if we truly love God, we have to love one another. And I feel like love and God are one in this way. If you believe in God, you have somehow believe that everyone is also God's people, because there's only one God. But somehow, somehow. We divided God into so many pieces. I'm learning about Jewish tradition right now, and some rabbi, whew, they don't believe in Jesus the Messiah, and they even don't believe in that Catholic and Christian either. And some Christian, even priests, don't respect the the uh, the Judaism and all that. So how do we reconcile all this so that we truly? Proclaim that we have only one God and one love, and that love is unconditional love. That love is sacrificial love. And so, let us pray so that through intercession of Saint Augustine, that we realize that we are created out of love, for love, and with love. Please stand and let us now. Pray to God a little bit, and ask God to continue to bless our hearts and our minds and our souls. We pray for our world today, especially where there is still a lot of violence, a lot of discrimination, a lot of misunderstanding, a lot of manipulation and control, and that we continue to love, love unconditionally. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our leaders today as they run in for office again, that they continue to demonstrate compassion, love, respect. We pray to the Lord. We pray for ourselves today as this community of Saint Jared, that we a good example of that kind of love, love of conversion, love of commission. That we are sent to embrace everyone in our prayers and our lives, we pray to the Lord. We pray for those who run away from home, who created a lot of troubles in our world today. Those who divided among their families and loved ones. Those who struggle mentally, physically. Psychologically, 
that they are blessed and converted with the grace of God. We pray to the Lord. What else shall we pray today? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. And all those who ask us to pray for this, especially in this Mass. And we ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God, our creation. Through your goodness, we have received this bread to offer you food of the earth and working human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Let's be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received this wine to offer you food of the vine and working human hands, it will become for us the spiritual drink. Let's be God forever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. Celebrating the memory of, you, of our salvation, we humbly beseech your mercy, O Lord, that this sacrament of your loving kindness may be for us the sign of unity and the bond of charity. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Augustine, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with this company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, 
For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until we come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the challenge of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope Michael Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters, especially those we mentioned in this Mass, Bill Carr and family, Coco, Dali, Sandra, and Jeremiah, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Augustine, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. What a beautiful one we call God, our Father. And so with this intention, with this gratitude, let us now call God again one more time to gather all our sheep and our brothers and sisters into one. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of power. Lord Jesus Christ, said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share with each other the sigh of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
communion and the fun. Thus says the Lord, you have but one teacher, the Christ, and you are all brothers and sisters. Let us pray. May partaking of Christ's table sanctify us, we pray, O Lord, that being made members of his body, we may become what we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. <laughs>